Hey, how's it going? Let's do a little, uh, for demonstration purposes. I got an old piston liner. And installing the pistons, this is the rain compression tool. And there's two compression rings and one oil ring. And we just locate them 120 degrees apart with the gaps so they don't line up for obvious reasons. So, you know, once you lubricate it with oil, and it shouldn't take much. I've just got the one hand, like, push her down and line up with the uh, rod journal on the crank. Yeah, here you can see the pistons installed. And a good note uh, for inline six engines, there's always two uh, cylinders top dead center at the same time. And it's one and six, two and five, and three and four. So the firing order is one, five, three, six, two, four. So if you're rotating the engine and number one, both valves are rocking, meaning they're free. It's on a compression stroke, a top dead center. So you could adjust the valves on number one, then rotate the engine till the valves rock on number five, and that's on compression. And three, six, two, four. And the other mating cylinder will be on exhaust stroke. Yeah, right underneath you see the uh, connecting rods, the caps have been torqued. It's uh, 30 foot-pounds plus uh, another 90 degrees. And we checked that, it's over 100 foot-pounds, so it's uh, going to definitely do the trick. And uh, we did plastic gauge the clearances on the rod bearings, but the manual tells you just torque the caps to 80 foot-pounds and that's it. And then you whip it apart and then check uh, how to gauge, see within the uh, specifications and all that good stuff. Important stuff. This is just standard. Everything is standard still. You see a brace here underneath it uh, that's bolted to the main bearing caps. It's just to uh, strengthen, you know, for anything distorting under load. It's a good idea. It's a heavy duty bottom end. It's pretty solid. <clears throat> just the uh, mission side of these engines are uh, a few troubles going on. And we just need the suction tube for the oil, engine oil pump and the pan.